Hello everybody, so this is going to be a video on OpenCut, which is a CapCut alternative that's open source and currently while it's still in like beta, you can go ahead and self-host it and sort of play around, test, develop on it. I'm very happy with DaVinci Resolve. I know that people, after I think sort of a big hubbub in June, were just like, I think I'm going to switch platforms because of terms and conditions. And then I think it eventually blew over, but a bunch of people were looking for alternatives to CapCut because CapCut is one of the only main stream popular free video editors that does a really good job and is fairly feature rich this was created i forgot the creator's name but they were showing this on twitter and i believe they vide coded it i'm not exactly sure but i wanted to at least try it i played around on my computer um, and we're just going to go ahead and try to get it spinning right now and play around with it let's go okay so is grab a key for better auth so we can do authentication. We're gonna leave everything else alone. Oh wait, it's not on 3000, it's on 3001. That is also not in the documentation. So what's weird is in the documentation, it says to go to localhost 3000 and then inside of the Docker Compose. Yep, it says app is running on 3000. So we run this at 3100. Also one of the well, this is an MP4 thing, so I'm not even gonna worry about it. Can we mute anything? <gasps> you can split it, Playhead. Oh, yay. Okay, so right here, you can switch the aspect ratio, though I don't know if I can transform. Tag. So you change it here, which is cool. Split and keep left, separate audio. Oh, huh, that's cool. And undo's work, that's good. Freeze frame, coming soon, cool, no worries. So this is, when you're not clicked on anything on the timeline, you can change the media properties, like frame rate and stuff like that, which is cool. Effects, transitions, caption views, filters adjust. So very rudimentary right now. We'll probably take some time before it's out. And I don't know if it's gonna be open source when it is out. It likely will be, uh, it's just hard because you have, like when you have a project, when you have a software project, especially something as potentially critical as an editor for tons and tons of content creator, it, money will need to come in at some point. There's gonna be money. There has to be money. There's nothing, I can't really do too much here right now. Let me see if I can export. Uh, split, delete, delete with backspace. That's cool. I hit export. I don't think export works right now. Maybe, is it in the, this is really cool. Though, even though this is not finished, this is actually extremely cool. Let me see if I can add another video on top of this one. Oh, this is MKV, it won't work. All my videos are like super long. I don't think you can move video layers yet. And this layer doesn't seem to be taking precedence over the output. Like if I click here, oh yeah, nothing. Okay, so it's, oh, that's weird. I don't know why before when I did that it was, it wasn't stacking like that. That's weird. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Go here again. I do like that though. I love the way that that looks. So I can't put it on top of there just yet. And I can't move it outside of the, the thing. If I delete this, that goes away. So I put it right under it and it will go on top. But if it's over it, I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. I had this though. It was cool because I had both of them in. Oh, just a mess. Um, I guess exporting doesn't work yet. And it is, yeah, just still a work in progress. Um, you can't actually export anything right now. That's cool. Anywho, um, I think that's open cut for right now. That's all we got. Uh, I, I wish much, like I could also see myself contributing to this because this looks really cool. I know that a lot of people do use the app though. I know that I use the app more than I use the desktop or I think, I guess there was a web version. Um, but it's cool that there's something that gives you sort of that same functionality in the web browser because that is, I just think that's cool. We need more cool stuff in the browser, honestly. Having a, a like a pretty solid short form video editor in the browser is actually kind of awesome. So I wanna see more stuff like this. Um, I'm going to keep checking in on this project because I think uh, giving more people more access to the tools like this is like, I think that is the thing. Like, that's what I'm, I, I think it's it. I think that's really cool. That's it. If y'all have any questions, y'all, um, let me know. Um, feel free to join the Discord. 
uh, where we'll be helping you set up stuff or home labbing stuff. If you want to talk about anything, let me know. And also feel free to like and subscribe.